Hi everyone! Welcome back to my channel. I know it's been a really long time since I've made a video, but today, just spontaneously, I thought I'd make a video um, for you guys. So yeah, I'm actually getting ready to go somewhere and I'm doing my makeup right now. Um, I'm going to be using a lot of Smashbox products, so we'll go ahead and get started with that. So I purchased the Smashbox the Beauty Kit. And it comes with a bunch of different products. I'll be posting them up um, in the description box for you guys. But I already went ahead and used their Photo Finish Oil Free Foundation Primer, which is this right here. And this is in the full size. And so that I already have that on my face. And also, for foundation, I use the Neutrogena Healthy Skin Liquid Makeup with SPF 20. So that's this one right here, and because I'm sure people are going to be asking what color I am, I'm in the natural beige. This is the number 60. 60. I know it's going to be backwards on the camera. Um, so I went ahead and did half of my face with that just because it might take a while to finish. So for my foundation, I use the Neutrogena Healthy Skin SPF Liquid Makeup in SPF 20, and I am the natural natural beige, or I'm the natural natural beige. I am the color natural beige 60. I know I don't even know why I'm showing you guys because it's gonna come up backwards. But I already did half of my face, so I already have the Smashbox Photo Finish and all over. Um, all you need is like a pea size. And then the liquid, I have that on half of my face. You probably can't tell. Which is good, because we don't want people to be able to know that we're wearing makeup. And I'm going to go ahead and finish this off. I normally, um, when I apply the foundation, I will start off on my forehead I'll like dab some here and then down my nose and here and then here and here um, basically I just do two lines and then I spread it out throughout my face so I will apply the foundation all over my face just like I explained earlier and I'm not doing it in circular motions but just up and down motions mostly down just to give it a smoother look um, most makeup artists will say that's the correct way to apply. Next is the powder. I kind of tap it on my face. Um, whoops. I grabbed a little too much. Um, just so, I'm trying not to create a shadow here for you guys, but I need the mirror to see. Kind of like this, like, I, I try not to rub it in even though I do kind of want to pack it on my face. Obviously, it helps keep the oils controlled. And I actually go over my eyelid as well like this. I just close it. Um, that way I can get coverage on my eyelid because if you see here, I don't know if you can see it, but here it looks more covered whereas here you can see that maybe my skin tone is a little lighter than here well I don't I don't think you can really tell but um basically you can't see the little veins that I have if I just go like this um and it's not even that big of a deal you know I, I've gone probably most of my life like most of my makeup life I guess since I've been doing my makeup Without um, doing this, like actually putting powder all over my eyelid and my eye area too, I would normally just go around. But, and you know, you, you don't notice. But I find that if I do do this, it just gives it more of a, a more just all around better look. Um, I know I really had just poor choice of words right now. <laughs> but yeah, I, I, geez, I can't talk today. Okay, so like the other plus side to if you do this, if you just do the powder is sometimes um, it'll leave, or actually all the time, it will leave some residue of the powder on your eyelashes and that will actually work as 
a primer for your lashes when you go into your mascara. It adds more length to it, which is an added bonus. So after I have finished my powder, I take the MAC um, Bear Study Paint Pot. I have it in the color Bear Study. If you don't know what this is, it's basically um, an eye primer for your eyeshadow primer um, or eyeshadow base, some people like to call it. And um, this one is a kind of nude but pearly it's like a yeah it's more like a pearly color um kind of a fleshy tone but that mac actually has a newer fleshy tone right now that's out for their new fall line i don't know what it's called though so after I do that, I just basically go from here all the way out and up to here and on both sides like that. Um, I do it here because I like the highlight effect that it gives on the inner corners and then also, of course, up here by the eyebrows because I like to highlight that, but not so much. So this is very subtle. And it's a really good eyeshadow primer. Um, next... I will go ahead and I was forgetting to do this part this is the other makeup I used to use and it's probably in my other one of my old other videos that I have up um, the cargo pressed blu-ray powder um, I stopped using this only because it started getting very very pricey and that's why I found the other alternative which was the Neutrogena that I really liked and I've been happy with so far so, but I still use this one, whatever I have left here. As you can see, I still have some left. And I like to kind of go he go around and kind of, because it's a little bit of a slightly darker color, um, just kind of go like this to maybe, I don't know, give my face some definition. Although it's very, very subtle. After that, I will go ahead and go back to the eyes so I like to use the crease brush um, it's kind of you know just tapered almost dome shaped no it's more like tapered um, and I will get the Smashbox what is this eyeshadow quad in photo shoot and this is the one that came in their lookbook it basically comes with these four colors and today because I'm wearing purple this is my outfit Let's see I'm wearing this kind of like lacy like tank top shirt with this belt and it's a high-waisted skirt that has like three colors if you can see <laughs> here hold on there we go Let's see it's kind of hard to show you guys but yeah, so I'm going to use these two colors. I'm going to go ahead and start with the pink, which is a golden pink, but I know it's also called golden orchid. I'm going to start with the color orchid. Basically, I'm going to just put this on my whole eyelid. And I love this brush simply because it makes it so much easier to apply eyeshadows and it's really really fast and simple. Next I'm going to take this purple color right here and it is in Deep Amethyst and I just tap it in here like so like that and once I have enough on my brush, so basically I I'm just going to continue blending in the purple into the eye. crease and I do kind of a windshield wiping motion and then I try to do on the outer corners a little bit of a an angle like a triangle a sideways triangle to do a little bit of a cat eye look but not very dramatic and I keep working that in and I'll even go ahead and get more of the eyeshadow to make it even darker you just basically work that into the crease. 
and the outer corner, of course. After I do that, I go ahead and pick the other color that was the pink orchid. And because it is lighter, this is why I save it for last, even though I did apply it earlier, I believe. And I will go ahead and put that again on the inner corners so to make it brighter. After I do that, I'm going to go ahead and use the Smashbox eyeliner. And I like to go out a little, almost giving a winged look. And then I connect it here on the top. I don't really do the whole winged look where I line the top as well. Just because, like I said, I already have almond shaped eyes and I feel like that just makes my eyes look even smaller. Which is not the look I'm going for. <laughs> um, and I've pretty much had a lot of practice trying to do the winged look with a pencil eyeliner versus how the majority of people do the winged look, which is uh, using the liquid eyeliner. Um, I don't really like the liquid eyeliner for some reason. Even though I do like it, uh, I like the look of it, but I don't like applying it myself. So, there we go. There we go. That's your winged look right there. It's like a mini wing, because a real winged one would probably be like out further. <laughs> Next, I will use a Smashbox Bionic Mascara. This one also, actually no, this one did not come in the lookbook box. All these Smashbox products that I've showed you so far have come in the lookbook makeup kit that Smashbox recently came out with, um, but it's only for Ulta stores. It was exclusively for, um, for their store. And uh, so all these products came in that book except for this mascara. So there, it's kind of a before and after you can see there. See that? So really all you need is one coat with this mascara. I want a little bit more, um, I guess, highlight. I will go back with the Bear Study paint pot from MAC that I used as the primer. This one right here, and I will grab some, and I will, like, go ahead and put some right here, some more. So, like you just saw, you could definitely tell I just applied more. And sometimes up here too. There, for an extra highlight. And if you don't know why people highlight up here underneath the eyebrows, because um, I know I didn't before, was it's basically just to make your eyebrows look like they're higher and like probably more arched sometimes. Alright, so after I'm done doing that, my eyes, the last thing I go to are my cheeks. And this product, this other Smashbox product, did come in the Lookbook Beauty kit as well. And this is the Blush in Soft. Oh, this is a Blush Soft Lights Duo. Um, yeah, let me see. I guess this one's Passion and this one's Shimmer. So I'll show you that again. This is Passion and this one's Shimmer. And I normally will use this brush. I know it's humongous and probably defying what makeup artists say, what kind of brush to use. But because this is more of a, a powder brush, it's not a blush brush, but I still use it anyways like that. But I've recently started using this fan brush, which is what you're kind of supposed to wear. But because it's nighttime and I want 
more product on my face, I will go ahead and just use this brush. And what I do is to hold it like this, so it gives it this kind of a shape, like what you would norm, what the type of brush, what is it called? The blush brush that you would normally use, but since I don't have one, I just do this. So, let's see. I want to start with a blush. And this is the passion brush, that's this one. So I just grab product here. I'm going to lightly dust it here. Actually, how's it, how am I going to do this? I'm going to do it here, like just underneath the cheekbone. So like, when you do the fish face, right there. Like so. And just do a back and forth motion. Okay, like so. And that will really accentuate your high cheekbones. Sometimes I'll grab a little bit too and put some on my chin here and some on my forehead. Not very much though, just very lightly. Okay, and then next I'm gonna go ahead and grab the shimmer, the soft lights shimmer here. And that's going to go right above where I put the blush. So like so. And this is going to, you want to work it up to the temple. Just like that. Okay. And then, after I do that, what's similar to the, the Soft Lights Shimmer, um, what I used to use before that, was the MAC Mineralized Skin Finish, and this is in Soft and Gentle. Um, this is what it looks like. I would grab this brush and just swirl it like once in there, and then I would apply it here on my forehead. I'm not going to do that this time, just because I don't... I've, I've kind of noticed that if I do that, it, I get more shiny here, so I'm just going to avoid that area now. But I do like to do it down my nose, just because it kind of gives it more of a defined look and um, I also like to apply it right here and even though I already did the Smashbox um, this is just gonna accentuate this even more like highlight it here even more and you could even do it right here I forgot what this is called your Tripid? No, Cupid's bow, I know is this, right? What is this part called? I don't remember. I saw it in a movie once. Uh, the President's Daughter with, uh, why is her name, like, just blanking? Oh my goodness, she's married to Tom Cruise. Katie Holmes. She was in that movie when she was younger. Not that much younger, I think. But yeah, she was in that movie, President's Daughter. And in one of the scenes when she's with the guy, this one guy, I don't want to spoil the movie, they're out running from paparazzi and they stop to get a bite to eat and they're just, you know, having like a fun facts, like thing, game, going back and forth, just shouting out random facts and they said what the name was, but I forgot what it's called. But anyways, so that's pretty much the finished look. Sorry I'm playing around with my hair so much. It's just like I haven't done anything to it, so it's kind of bothering me. But yeah, that's pretty much the look I was going to do today for my makeup. If you can see it. It's not, like the camera's not really appreciating it that much. Oh yeah, I forgot to go back and clean that. Oh well, it's okay, you can't even see it. But yeah. I will see if I can incorporate some pictures in here so that you might be able to see what this look looks like better. Um, Alright guys, well thank you so much for watching and I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it wasn't too long. I'm going to 
be editing it and shortening it and speeding it up as well. And I hope that you guys stay tuned. Um, I have a couple things planned. I'm just not sure if I'm going to be doing this because I actually have a blog now that I've been doing for a couple months. Um, almost on a daily basis, but for sure on a weekly basis. And I do a lot of beauty and fashion reviews on that. And I will be revealing that to you guys hopefully soon. Um, I, I do have a lot of readers already on it. They don't know that it's me from this channel. It has a different name. It's not Beauty and the Blog. But I am thinking about sharing it with the rest of you guys because right now mainly my friends know about it. So yeah, we'll, hopefully we'll get that up and started and revealed to you guys if you guys are interested. And if you guys have anything else that you guys would like me to do in a video, um, maybe like a, I don't know, someone requested a what's in your bag uh, a video. Um, I haven't done that yet. I, I do have one up, but that one's such bad quality and, and really old now. Um, so I might be updating that one. But yeah, I want to hear from you guys. I know you guys have been loving my other video on the review of the Perfect Locks hair extension. So thank you so much. I really appreciate all the comments. I do read all of the comments you guys have left. And I really appreciate it. You know, you guys are so nice. Um, yeah, so thank you. And I hope that you guys have a fabulous day. Bye. You guys thought that I was finished, didn't you? I kind of forgot one more thing. The Smashbox lip gloss. I have nothing on my lips. <laughs> Alright, so I'm going to be using the Aura. This is Aura and Mulberry. And this is Smashbox. Um, and this one did come in the lookbook beauty kit as well. I forgot to mention that. Um, it was basically like five products. I'll do, I'll put it in the description box, everything that came in the lookbook. And so this one is the color that I'm going to be using right now. This light, uh, sparkly, like iridescent sparkled pink. Um. Okay. Now, uh, the look is complete, right? Okay, that's it. Thanks for watching, guys. Goodbye.